Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your March reading. Thank you for coming to Royal Mystic Tarot. This is a general reading for all Geminis out there in YouTube land. And if you would like a more specific reading, please look in the links below. I'll be able to help you and tune in directly to your energy or your questions. Help you give you some uh, oversight on or some insight on what may be coming around the bend for you. And with all that said, thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing, Gemini. I have had a wonderful, wonderful turnout here on YouTube, and you guys have been amazing. And I really appreciate all the likes, shares, and subscribes, and personal reading requests. This is a pleasure for me to do this. And we have spiritual gifts. That's your uh, underlying energy. So we'll see how that plays in, into this wonderful reading. Got the Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands is taking a knee, man. These are just really, all these wands behind him are victories and battles and just, just trudging along and planting those wands, planting those wands. So every time he has to, he gets one in the ground, you know, he has to keep moving forward. It's like, it's like a fence. It's very hard to build a fence. I don't know if any of y'all have ever done that. Maybe someone out there is in the process of it. That's why I brought it up. I don't know. That was out of the blue. <laughs> but this guy is on his knees going, good Lord. I have really been working hard and I got to take a breath. But he's not giving up. He's got his foundation here. Happy family. Happy. This can be the marriage card as well. Maybe you've just recently gotten married. Um, but this is your foundation of your household energy, your Family energy is all well. This is, I just noticed this. So this is maybe somebody starting a family. These two little rabbits uh, just popped out into my little brain here. Um, spirit is telling me fertility. So uh, I don't know if anybody out there is trying to have a baby, but the two rabbits to me show that that's what's going on. We're doing it like rabbits. Maybe this is just a newlywed energy. Uh, you know, making it like bunnies. Uh, the Knight of Wands is a very passionate, fast-moving energy. And you also got the Knight of Cups right behind it. So this looks like a job offer. Um, or You're either proposing or being proposed to. So there's, there's uh, all kinds of things this could be. This is work here. The Wands is always a work energy. But this could also mean that you're trying to combine households. Uh, so it's either about, uh, let's find out. Let's do some clarifiers. This is a spiritual energy. This is all of your spiritual gifts uh, manifesting. This is an underlying energy. So if you haven't uh, realized it yet or not, they're coming for you. The uh, universe has got all kinds of wonderful surprises for you. Okay, so you're, here you are feeling like you're left out. This is a card of lack, feeling like you're left out, literally left out in the cold. If you can see that, it's uh, somebody sitting outside just to shivering, just freezing in the cold. This is a impasse or a roadblock. Three of three of swords. So this may be you're working past. This is also heartbreak. So if you can get over your heartbreak, you can have this wonderfulness. And you do, because this is the sun. This is also a card of childbirth. This is a baby. So maybe you've had a hard time conceiving. And here it comes. And the world. I don't know how it could get any better for you. This is everything. The world energy is... You you are on the other side of it. This is like a portal. Let's get one more clarifier. This is the chakra oracle cards. So somebody out there... I want to take this card because it's sticking out to me. Okay. Don't be afraid. Of this relationship don't let your doubts win out don't be afraid to trust 
Don't be afraid to hope. This is the happiest card in the deck. This is the best possible outcome for anything. So Gemini, you have a fabulous march ahead of you. It looks like you are going to start off feeling like uh, everything's against you and, and you've literally been forgotten. Don't give up. It's there to be had. Don't believe that everything ends the same way each time. You've got to let go of your insecurity so that you can have this, these wonderful outcomes here and your spiritual gifts. Have a great march and let yourself be guided. It's there for you. If you'd like a personal reading, please look in the links below. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I love you all, and I'll see you at your next reading.